Hi, hello guys, welcome to another episode of um, for my tech channel. Uh, you can check out the website, I'll have a link on the screen and um, any description we can put them in the I'll put them in the description box below. Alright. Okay, so let's begin. Now today we'll look at a fix for the ASUS MIMO pad. Now this problem can also affect other tablets, right? But for today I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue with the ASUS MIMO pad. Alright? So the issue itself is where the unit stops from charging so it won't charge any at all and what I'm going to do is to show you how to get your device charging one, once again so that you can use the device alright now I'm going to show you the issue now the issue is that as soon as you connect connect a charger as you connect a charger like this one if I were to connect it you'll notice on screen that the this battery icon will come up and it's showing red now the battery will not charge right in a few seconds it will just shut off all right as you can see it will just shut off and you can't charge now I'm going to show you how to fix this so you're gonna remove your charger now you'll need a tool set something looking like this here we have some forceps this is the same type of tool set you use on um, your cell phones right does um, several types of forceps and some small screwdrivers you also have these small things right on a pick now I like to use this one now you can also use a blunt edge object right so the idea is for you to take your tablet and on the end like this like the charge port you're gonna try to find a small groove or opening you're going to use the forceps and you're going to force it along the edges. Now I've done this before because it takes a little time and then once you run it along the edges you'll hear some snaps coming around and all you have to do is just force the seams apart, right? And the clips that hold this in place will actually open and you do it all around and then once it's open you just separate the, um, the seams. Now you have to be extra careful especially at the joints like here because there are some um, snap on um, sections and you don't want to break them all right so as i said before i've pre-opened this using this tool or any other blunt object that you can find all right now once you have opened it this would be the back cover then on the inside what you're going to notice here is that this is the battery you have the circuit board right and the issue is caused because of the battery here now you'll notice there's a connection port where the battery connects to the board here and a safety um, strip. This strip you'll have to peel this off. Now you have to be careful not to touch any of the components on the board as it can damage the board. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully use my small screwdriver here and I'm going to lift a section. The adhesive tape is quite um, rigid, so carefully you're gonna get this thing off. And what we're looking for here is this section here. Now you notice that it's connected to the board. And what you're gonna do is carefully you're going to use a you can use a flat tip um, screwdriver like the one I'm using here, very small. You're gonna carefully disconnect it or disconnect the, the connectors from the board. Might take a little time, don't rush it. And you just carefully remove these connectors. Okay. Now if you're looking carefully this is the connectors see this is the part that goes in this section here and I have completely removed it from the board alright so if you come in for a closer shot alright so so all I have to do is connect it uh, you can probably just blow it a little bit alright and simply reconnect it Alright. 
and there we go so let's make sure it's snug and all you have to do now is we simply you can take what the tablet take what the tablet and you get your charger again and then what you're going to do is just connect it and see if it powers on and if you're looking on the screen there it's now powering up right. before remember it would not power up and just by simply disconnecting the battery and reconnecting it it's now powering up all right and the issue is caused when um, what happens is that the, the battery if you allow the battery to fully drain and um, deplete completely then it won't charge so this is the only way to fix this issue alright the video is running a little bit long so I might have to cut out some sections in editing or so on All right. okay and as you can see here the tablet is now um, fully booted up um, it was not charging before you now it's it's now um, taking a charge All right. and if you look at the battery percentage you'll see that um, it's just a, a error in calibration so next time just be careful the tablet don't overcharge it don't allow the battery to completely deplete All right. and if this issue happens all you have to do is just open the unit and then disconnect now as you finish you can just simply get the back cover and just put it back on and you'll be good to go. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye.